that I'm fully aware of the fact that black people are just not going to be serious for at least a week, like business days a week. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Wahar, Rakakwadash, double honor to my apostles, the elders, and great millstone, the men that told me the truth through the spirit. Peace and blessings to the elect of the house of Israel that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The name of this lesson is going to be Jake turns anything into an idol. Israel makes an idol out of anything. And what sparked this lesson is the, the uh, exaggerated or dramatic or the, just the overdue of folly in regards to this damn chair. And um, I'm an Israelite, just like y'all are Israelites. And Israelites love to laugh. Israelites love to have a good time. Jake likes to make fun out of any circumstance, no matter how dark and severe it may be. But then it has to be limits. It has to be boundaries. And I'm all for the celebration of our people getting a victory over Esau, right? But then it becomes the folly part or the folly side of the thing, of the coin, because they're not giving glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son. They're not thanking God for the cops not killing them or Esau you know, doing them dirty the way they could have, but they're going to glorify a chair and a fucking hat. And that's our people's problem. And this is why we in the predicament that we in, because Jake, Jake loves to fucking um, deify things, right? So before we get into it, I pulled this up. What is idolatry? Idolatry is the worship of idols. Extreme admiration, love, or reverence for something or someone. Idolizing, worship, worshiping, adulation, adoration, adoring, reverence, glorification. What are the examples of idolatry? It remains a constant temptation to faith. Idolatry consists in Devising, a divinizing, de a deifying, what is not the most high. Man commits idolatry whenever he honors and reverence a creature in place of the most high. Whether this be gods or demons, for example, Satanism, power, pleasure, race, ancestors, the state, money, blah, blah, blah. Idolatry in Judaism and Christianity, the worship of someone or something other than the Most High as though it were the Most High. And this is what sparked this lesson because our people have lost their goddamn minds, man. I keep that thing on me. Rosa, um, this is Harriet Tubman, right, with a chair. Martin Luther King with a chair. Nigga got a chair on top of his Jeep. Chair earrings. They taking a picture with the chair that uh, the man used to hit the Edomites with. Niggas are bowing down to the chair. Right? Acting like if is the chair has great wisdom and philosophy. Right? Niggas is training with the chair in boxing gyms. Another brother got folding chair spirit recently, this time in Detroit. What did I tell you about Black August Energy? Niggas are doing drive-bys with chairs. Niggas are getting chairs um, cut in their head. Niggas is changing Negro spirituals and making Negro chair spirituals. Lift every voice in chair and swing. Niggas pretending to be Malcolm X posing with a chair. The list goes on, man. 
and you know, I laugh. It's a lot. A lot of this shit is funny. You know, I'm a Jake, like I said, just like y'all Jakes, and I love a good laugh, just like any other Jake. But it's like, all right, y'all, come the fuck on. You know, like the cheers, the Heavenly Father and His Son. I want to put Montgomery Riverboat chair on display at the Hidden History Museum. You think the Heavenly Father gives a shit about this chair? You think the Heavenly Father gives a shit about you reversing a goddamn chair? And this is our people problem, man. This shit is sickening, man. And this is the shit, look. People getting the shit tattooed on them. Because our people can make an idol out of anything. Now let's get into the scriptures. Deuteronomy, let's get this first. Jake makes it anything into an idol. Exodus chapter 20 verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You must not have no other gods before me but me. Ain't nobody giving credit to the heavenly father and his son. Nobody's thanking God. Like I said, the cops didn't come and blow their asses away for jumping on Edomites. Right? Or Jake get uh, arrested because they was beaten. They was outnumbering the Edomites, even though the Edomites started it. Right? Nobody's giving credit to the Heavenly Father and the Son for having mercy. Right? That that Jake didn't lose his life. The security guard didn't lose his life. Right? But niggas wouldn't think a fucking chair, man. So, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 8. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image or any likeness or anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself onto them. And then, you know, Jake would say, it was just a joke, I. Uh, Jake is just, you know, having fun. Not our people. Our people, they're dead serious. They're serious. They're reversing this thing. Right? Joe, you, you, you just, you don't got a sense of humor. I, nah, man, our people are sick. Our people are sick. Like I said, I like a laugh. I like a joke just like any other Jake, man. But come the fuck on. When is enough enough? Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them, for I am the Lord, yet thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of thy fathers upon the children, upon the third and fourth generation. And you know my favorite scripture to get. It's a scripture that applies it to any situation. Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, Will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? How long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple minded? How long will you mockers relish in your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? And this is an example of our people, man. Our people reverence a chair over the Heavenly Father and His Son. All people will sing praises of a chair over the heavenly father and the son. It says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit upon you. I will make known my words unto you. And that's how, that's what the Lord is doing. The Lord is making his words known unto you through his prophets. The brothers you see out there on the highways and byways that you claim to have dresses on, but those are uh, 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 ancient, uh, uh, ancient hebrew apparel the ones that you talk shit on these videos because we get on christianity and a different um theologian schools of thought so it says because i have called and ye refuse i have stretched out my hand and no man regard it but ye have set at naught all my counsel and it says all my counsel and with none of my reproof I also will laugh at your calamity I will mock when your fear cometh and that's ultimately going to be the end of our people the Lord is going to mock when your fear cometh because that chair is not going to protect you from famine 
That chair is not going to protect you from pestilence. That chair is not going to protect you from the karakma, which is the RFID chip. That chair is not going to protect you from the second death. That chair is not going to protect you during the time of Jacob's trouble. I'm going to read through this fast. Isaiah 44 and 9. They make a graven image of all of the vanity, and their delectable things shall not profit. And they are their own witnesses. They see not, nor that they may be ashamed. Who have formed a God or a molten, a graven image that profitable for nothing? Profitable for nothing, man. This shit ain't going to protect you. This shit is not your savior. It's not your God. It's not your Messiah. It says, Behold, all his fellows shall be ashamed, and the workmen they are of men. Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up. Yet shall they not fear. I said, Yet they shall fear, and they shall all be ashamed together. So everybody's going to be ashamed when the Lord brings his judgment upon earth. It says the smith with the tongs, both worketh in the coals and fashioneth with hammers and worketh it with strength of his arms. Yea, he is hungry and his strength faileth. He drinketh and no, and he, excuse me, he drinketh no water and, and is faint. The carpenter stretcheth out his rule. He maketh it out with a line. He fitteth up the planes, and he marketh it out with the comp the compass, and maketh it after the figure of a man, according to the beauty of a man that is made remain in the house. These are different. These are the different kinds of idols. Whether it's an idol of a man, an idol of a woman, an idol of a fucking chair, an idol of an animal. People that reverence things more than they reverence the Heavenly Father and His Son. He heweth him down cedars and taketh the cypress and the oak which strengtheneth for himself among the trees of the forest. He planteth the ash and the rain doeth nourish it. Then shall he be then shall it be for a man to burn, for he shall take thereof and warm himself. Yea, he kindleth it, and baketh bread. Yea, he maketh a god, and worship it. He maketh a graven image, and filleth, as full of down there too. Basically, it doesn't mean shit. It can't do nothing. It can't eat, it can't drink, it can't protect you. And the thing, the, the, the pieces or the parts that you're using to build it, you throwing the other pieces and parts away. You cast it in a way. So is that not a part of the idol? Read it on. He burneth part thereof in the fire with part thereof and eateth the flesh. He roasteth roast and is satisfied. satisfied. Yea, he warmeth himself and saith, Aha. It says, Aha, I am warm. I have seen the fire. And the residue thereof, he maketh a god, even a graven image. He faileth down onto it, and worshipeth it, and prayeth onto it, and saith, Deliver me, for thou art my god. And that's what our people are doing. They made this goddamn chair their god. And it's so, it's so simple, man. It's so simple, for no reason. Like I said, you know, the couple of jokes here and there. But no, Jake is going to go on and on and on and on. They have not known nor understood, for he has shut their eyes that they cannot see, and their hearts that they cannot understand. And none considereth it in his heart, neither is their knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire, yea, also I have baked bread upon the coals thereof. I have roasted flesh and eaten it. In eating it, and shall I make the residue thereof of an abomination? Shall I fall down to the stock of the tree? And the NLT says, The person who made the idol never stops to reflect. Why is just a block of wood? 
I burn half of the heat, half of it for heat, and use it to bake my bread and roast my meat. How can the rest of it be a god? Should I bow down to worship a piece of wood? He feedeth on ashes and deceiveth, deceived heart, have turned him aside, that he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? The poor deluded fools feeds on ashes. He trusts some things that can't help him at all, yet he cannot bring himself to ask, Is this an idol that I'm holding in my hand a lie? And that's exactly what our people are holding and bowing down to and making fun of. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14. Verse 12 in the GNT, it says sexual immorality began when idols were invented. They have corrupted human life ever since they were first made. It says, hold on one second. It says, um, where I'm at. It was human pride that brought them into the world. And that is why it's quick. a quick end has been planned for them. So there's going to be a quick end to all these people that's fucking idana, um, deifying a goddamn chair. This is uh, verse 29. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 29. I don't know why that keep happening. It says, they tell lies under the oath and expect no punishment because the idols they put their trust in are lifeless. But punishment will finally catch up with them for two reasons. First, it says, first, they were in error about the Most High when they worship idols. And second, they had so little regard for the holiness that they made false statements to deceive people. When unrighteous people commit sin, they will be hunted down, not by the power of whatever thing they swear by, but by the punishment that sinners deserve. And that's exactly what's coming to our people, man. Great judgment, great lamentations, great weeping, and great woe. Because they put their trust into things that's not going to protect them. But pretty much that's it, man. I pray and hope that y'all was edified. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Wahhaba Kakwadash. Leave your comments, ask your questions. Till next time, I say Shalom.